Uh, my name's Hannah and I'm the communications worker for um, a project called Transforming Local Infrastructure Project at MAC in Manchester and I also lead on the Community Reports Programme in Manchester. Transforming Local Infrastructure Fund is about bringing together the support organisations in Manchester. So there's a number of organisations that support voluntary and community groups in the city and the fund is to help us to work together better so that we um, provide the best support possible to the community groups in the city. And that's where the Community Reporters project came out of that. Initially, a number of people were trained from the organisations. It's, it's 13 different organisations across Manchester. And they're quite varied from BME Network, Lesbian and Gay Foundation, um, Gadam Centre, who provides support to counselling people. Um, there's a number of different organisations, but we were trained as trainers so that we could roll out community reporting across Manchester. So I think there's about nine people that are now trained as trainers. Initially I was going to do a 12 week full community reporters training programme, but there wasn't any take up because people couldn't commit to doing that long a session because they, they were volunteers or the paid staff couldn't commit to that either. So instead I broke it into two sessions, one on video, three days, and one on audio. And we opened that out to um, voluntary community groups in, in the city. We've got a long relationship with them and it was sent out via an e-bulletin on the website, things like that. And um, the video one particularly got full really quickly and has now got a waiting list as well of at least five people who want to go on a future session. Um, that was a, a couple of months ago, a month ago, that we ran those sessions. So I think 12 people in total have now been trained. The people who were trained have completed some content. So they basically were highlighting the impact of their voluntary or community group. Um, showing the good work that they're doing in their area and then in hoping from that that they may get more supporters, maybe volunteers and, and maybe donations as well because we're linking it with a local giving project that we're doing to try and encourage people to give to causes in Manchester rather than major um, charities, national charities. So the people that were on that course created either a piece of video, a piece of audio, and uploaded it to the Community Reporters website. But also, I've created fundraising pages for a couple of those groups so far on our website. I think it, it would be great if they could work with each other more and, and continue to collect content and tell their stories. A lot of them did um, content about volunteers that had worked with them and how volunteering for that group has really changed their lives. So the content that's produced from the voluntary community groups that have taken part in the training will all go on at My Manchester website. It already exists but we're redeveloping it so that it um, is a lot more user friendly. Um, it's going to show all the content from individuals in the city and also people who are part of voluntary and community groups. The idea being that so when the riots happened in Manchester, if the press wanted to know what's happening in the city as a reaction to that, or they just want an idea, get an overall picture of Manchester, that that would be the place that they would go. Or if you wanted to look for a project near you, a community project you might want to be involved in, you could look geographically because there'll be maps on there. It's just a, a place where people could have their story told and put their content on there. So we're currently developing that and then we'll be promoting that more to encourage people to put their content on there. Everything that goes on the Community Reporters main site that's tagged Manchester automatically will feed onto that site. Ideally in the future the Community Reporters project would exist as a social enterprise. At the moment we're looking at forming a steering group to um, look at getting income generation, so running training with places like housing associations or big support organisations. 
um, or making one-off films or audio pieces for them to evaluate their project, whatever it might be. But the idea would be that some of that money would go into keeping it going and coordinating it, but the majority of it would be able would fund us to be able to run more training with the small community groups that, that at the moment we're not funded to be able to carry that on to a, a large extent. So if we get this income in, then we can carry on and, and spread it out across Manchester to make as many people able to tell their story as possible. Um, the Community Reporters Project is really important to us at MAC to help the volunteering community groups in Manchester actually raise their profile and have a voice, show what they're doing in the community and show the valuable work and impact that they're having, especially now when everything is so tight with funding that they're actually using their resources to have the maximum impact on the community.